I don't know what makes me me. I'm Sergio. I'm a very outgoing person. Um, I mean, I don't get bothered by little things. Uh, I'm just a happy person. We're we all we're all brought up like oh any little thing you cry about you get hurt you cry about it or anything like that it's like but at the end of the day somebody's gonna have it way worse than you like you can have the worst of days right but somebody will always have it worse. My parents it's like seeing them struggle like my parents oh, we're, we're from we we're from Mexico um, my parents are were born and raised out there. I was born here in the United States. Uh, they moved back to Mexico when I was like less than a year old. Uh, we moved back to the United States after like seven years of living in Mexico. We were, me and my parents, my, mo my mom and my dad were separated for a good three months. Looking back and all, it's like, dang, we were separated from my dad for a whole three months. It's like, and I can't remember anything. It's like, it, it makes, it makes a difference. You know, like just seeing how my mom like still made it through the day made it through the months of working her ass off so she can get food on the table and all that. And then being the struggle of coming to the United States, literally just to cross us, I couldn't go in the same car with my mom because we, we, they were afraid of being deported, you know? Because I'm a US citizen. They were, they were illegal at the point at that time. I never, I've never seen my mom and dad like with tears in their eyes because they're, they're struggling, you know? They're always happy. They're always like, full of joy and all that. So it's like, if they're going through all this and they're still happy, it's like, there's, I really have no reason to be sad or mad or anything like that, you know? I'm a photographer, but like, I feel like there's levels to it. I mean, there's like simple, grab your phone, grab your phone, take pictures, you know? And then there's like the middle one where it's like, you can take good pictures, know how to take them, know how to edit them. And then there's this professionals where it's like a whole another level where it's like they do it for a living, you know? I'm at the point where it's like, it's just a hobby. I'll go out, shoot some pictures, like, oh, shoot what I like, you know? The steel wool picture, I, um, I seen pictures of it and I thought it was like, there's no way in hell I can do this, you know? I thought it was like a whole, I needed like a whole bunch of money to recreate this when it takes like a couple dollars to buy the steel wool and like a chain and just swing it around, that's it. And I didn't think I could do it, but as it shows in the picture, I, I was. All the light trails, those are fun. Those are definitely fun. And you have to have a lot of patience for them too. Because it's like, you, you can, there's different ways you can take it. But at the same time, it has to be like, good, like you can't have a lot of movement wherever you're at, you know? Very patient, a lot of patience and just good points where there's a lot of light moving. Everybody has their own different view of who I am, you know? So I can, t I can tell you who, I, I really can't, I can't tell you who I am. It's just, you, you, see, you, you see who I am, you know? I'm like, you paint the picture you want to see of me. Like, I can tell you all these great things about me and all that, but at the end of the day, it's like, do you really see them?